cold. Boy, COVID cases are climbing, hospitals are filling up. Now state and local leaders are looking for measures to slow down the spread of the virus. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live. He's in downtown Baltimore. Ray, tell us about this a possible vaccine passport program that the city's looking into. Yes, that's right, Kelly. The city is thinking about this, but Mayor Scott says he doesn't know right now exactly how this would look here in Baltimore, but he did say they will be seeking advice from business owners as well as seeing how this kind of program worked in other cities. Now, I did speak to people here in Baltimore about this idea. Many of them were in favor of it, but some did question how it will be enforced. We are entering a new wave of infections here in Baltimore. A surge of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations in Maryland has once again sent state and local leaders scrambling to slow the spread of the virus. Let me be very clear. We are experiencing high community transmission. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott says the city's health metrics are alarming and to help slow the spread, he announced the city will suspend all Rec and Park sports programming through the end of January. He says he's also considering allowing city employees to work from home as well as exploring the idea of a vaccine passport program. I asked Dr. D to put together a group of folks, including uh, business owners, to talk about what that would look like for us looking at the best practices from around the country, how it has been working in some places or what hasn't been working. The mayor says more details on the program will be shared at a later time. Currently, the city does not require proof of vaccination at places like restaurants, but the indoor mask mandate is still in effect. I certainly would follow it. I spoke to people in Baltimore about the idea of a vaccine passport program, and many of them were in favor of it if it means getting ahead of the pandemic. I think it'll get some of the people who are unvaccinated vaccinated. But Sandy Fleming says she would be concerned about how often it would be enforced. A lot of people like even know that masks are mandated in Baltimore City and in, indoors, and most people don't wear them and it's it's hard to enforce. So I like I would like that to happen, but I'm not sure if it would be enforceable. And of course, vaccine passports aren't new. Places like New York and California created programs to require proof of vaccination for certain indoor spaces. As for when we can see something like this here in Baltimore, Mayor Scott did not give a specific date. Live in Baltimore tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News. All right, Ray, thank you. Our